Pinterest has 465 million monthly users, which represents a massive potential to monetize these people and generate revenue using the power of affiliate marketing. Now, affiliate marketing is simply just recommending products to people and earning a commission for every referral you make. Now, affiliate marketing on Pinterest is hotter than ever. And if you do it right, you could be cashing in big time. And yes, we're talking millions of dollars. People are making millions by using Pinterest and you should not hold back. What's going on my friend Garrett here and if you're looking for tips on how to make some real cash just tapping into Pinterest, you are in the right place. Now I'm about to reveal some incredibly easy ways to speed up your Pinterest game without spending much of your precious time or any money whatsoever. Now I understand inflation is crazy these days and it can be very hard to look into creating extra streams of income, but don't worry because today I'm gonna be sharing with you just what you need. Now we're about to spill all the secrets starting in just a second. But before I do, I wanna share with you that a lot of people have been asking me to create a very easy place where all my best affiliate marketing strategies are in one spot where you can learn how to quickly and easily make 10K or more per month. I actually recently put together a full training program where I reveal my best kept secret strategies to make daily affiliate commission. If you wanna check out much more information, I'll include a link directly below. So the first thing we need to talk about is why you must be using pins when you wanna make money with Pinterest. Now, when you're getting started with Pinterest affiliate marketing, it's crucial to give some serious thought to those little digital gems called pins. Now, they might seem like just images, but trust me, they're your secret weapon inside of this game. Now, first off, let's talk about their longevity. You know, pins are like the evergreen content of the Pinterest universe. Unlike the fleeting life of tweets or snaps on Snapchat, pins can literally stick around for months if not longer. Now that's some serious shelf life. So don't underestimate the power of a well-optimized pin. Now optimization is the name of the game here. You want your pins to be seen, right? Of course you do. So make sure your pins keep popping up for potential visitors. Now in order to do that, you've gotta keep them in tip-top shape and make them relevant. Now, before I jump into exactly how to optimize and really make your pins work the best, let's get back to basics, right? How do you actually start creating those eye-catching pins? Well, you can first off go to the affiliate product you're promoting and you can look at the resources and sometimes they'll have advertisements. You can actually just post on Pinterest to start to get clicks and traffic to whatever product you wanna promote. Now, if you wanna create your own, you can actually go to a site called canva.com, which offers amazing and beautiful templates you can literally just click and use. Now, I'll actually include a link directly below where you can go ahead and create a free account and create different beautiful pins in a matter of minutes. Now, whatever you choose, it's not just about looking pretty, although this can help, it's about being relevant and useful to your audience. You wanna pair those stunning visuals with the pins with specific titles and descriptions that are SEO optimized. Think of these as your pins passport to Pinterest stardom. When you use specific search terms, this will help your pins show up in the search results, allowing your target market to really start to discover these pins long-term. Now here's where things get really, really interesting. Choosing the right keywords. Now when it comes to affiliate marketing with Pinterest, and posting pins, nailing your keywords is like hitting a home run. Pinterest is all about quality and using the right keywords is your golden ticket to success. So let's talk strategy. To find those perfect keywords for your niche, don't be shy about using third-party tools. You know, they're your trusty sidekicks in this quest to make substantial income online. Now keep in mind that Pinterest users often keep it simple when they search, so incorporate those straightforward terms into your keyword game plan. Now here's the thing, keyword popularity isn't static. You know, it can change like the seasons. That's where the possibilities planner on Pinterest comes in handy. It's like your keyword inspiration hub and you can tweak your keywords based on the time of the year. Think of it as staying in tune with the Pinterest vibe. And speaking of staying in tune, there's an ace up your sleeve called Tailwind. Now this app is your go-to for scheduling and automating your posts. It's like having a personal assistant for your Pinterest game. Use it to figure out what your audience is searching for and then make it work for you. Now, stay with me a little bit longer in this video because I'm gonna show you a technique that will make your life so much easier 
easier when it comes to profiting from Pinterest. You wanna try to automate things, right? Now, when it comes to managing your Pinterest game, going full manual can feel like a never-ending uphill battle, especially for beginners. It can be daunting and discouraging when results don't seem to pop up right away. But hey, here's a game changer, automation, right? It's like having your own Pinterest assistant and it can make your life a whole lot easier by allowing things to work in the background while you're out hanging out with your friends and family or maybe at your main job. Tools like Tailwind are your secret weapon. Now, instead of sweating over every pin, you can schedule and automate them in advance. And here's the deal. Set aside just one day a week for your Pinterest magic, right? This is a technique in productivity called batching. Batching is where you basically just set aside a specific day or month where you do all one task and then for the next weeks, it's already done and you just start to post them. Then once you create all your posts in that day, you can load them up to your chosen automation tool and voila, right? Your Pinterest account stays fresh, stays updated without you constantly babysitting it. Now, stay tuned because I'm about to truly drop a bombshell. You want to optimize your profile. This is one of the biggest problems I see people make first. Your profile picture matters way more than you may think. You want to use a professional looking profile picture that reflects your brand. If you're building a personal brand, consider using a high quality headshot. If you're promoting a niche or a specific topic, use a relevant eye-catching image or logo. The picture is often the first thing users see when they visit your profile, so it's your chance to make a strong first impression. Next up, your bio. Think of it as your elevator pitch to potential followers. Craft an engaging bio and succinctly describe your niche or your area of expertise. You know, highlight what makes you unique and why people should follow you. Also, don't forget to sprinkle in keywords related to your niche. You know, these keywords will help your profile also appear in the search results when users are looking for content relevant to your specific niche. Now, one of the most important elements of your profile is the website link. This is your opportunity to direct users to your affiliate blog or landing page. You wanna make sure it's up to date and it leads to a relevant destination that aligns with your niche and your affiliate marketing goals. Now, you wanna regularly check to ensure that the link is functioning correctly as broken links can frustrate users and deter them from engaging with your future content. Optimizing your Pinterest profile is all about making a strong and memorable first impression. Your profile picture, your engaging bio and website link or the tools you have at your disposal to convey your expertise and draw in your target audience. Now, on to a super key step, especially if you wanna make 10K or more a month with Pinterest. You want to deploy email marketing. Now, when it comes to Pinterest affiliate marketing, it's not always about the hard sell, right? Savvy marketers, marketers like you and me, understand that Pinterest is a treasure trove for something just as valuable, and that is collecting emails. Here's the game plan. Instead of bombarding your audience with constant sales pitches, offer them something of value. It could be free resources, newsletters, helpful tips, these are the golden keys to building trust and rapport with your visitors. Now, as you provide value and you build a loyal following, start collecting those email addresses. These are your direct line to potential customers who have already shown an interest in what you offer. It's like building your own little community of like-minded individuals. Now, once you've got a decent list of email addresses, you can kick your personalized marketing into high gear. This is where the magic really happens. You're not just another faceless affiliate. You're someone they trust and someone they value, and your messages will resonate more because they're tailored to your audience's needs and preferences. But here's one critical aspect we haven't discussed yet, and that is creating boards. Now it's time to get organized. You wanna create boards on your Pinterest profile that are related to your niche. These will act as categories that will help your visitors find what they're looking for a lot easier. Make sure to categorize your pins within these boards based on their themes. And remember, a mix of your own pins and repins from others can make your profile more interesting and more engaging. Another quick tip is to join group boards. Here's a Pinterest secret sauce. These boards have a much wider audience because they're a collaboration of pinners with similar interests. So it's like getting a VIP pass 
to reach more people. Keep an eye out for group boards that are open to using affiliate links in their pinned descriptions. Once you find some of these related to your niche, these can be an absolute gold mine when it comes to making commissions. One of the last tips is to write engaging descriptions. The importance of crafting good descriptions for your pins cannot be overstated. It's really gonna serve as a bridge between your content and your audience. They provide a compelling narrative around your pins that can draw people in to want to find out more about whatever product you're promoting. Now, they shouldn't just be like info dumps, right? They should actually resonate with your audience, evoking emotions or sparking curiosity. Now, furthermore, use these relevant keywords inside of your description as well, which will allow your pins, your profile, the different boards to be discovered by your target audience a lot easier. Now, before I dive into the last incredibly powerful step, to see more info on my new training program where I go way more in depth and actually show you over the shoulder step-by-step -step strategies to explode your results even faster, be sure to click the first link directly below. Now, the last tip is make sure you're engaging with your audience. Building a community around your niche is key. Respond to comments, interact with your followers, create a sense of belonging. And if you're looking to connect to potential customers or collaborators, Pinterest messages are your go-to tool. Pinterest can change its rules and regulations, so staying informed is vital. Make sure you're aware of the latest guidelines regarding affiliate marketing to avoid any hiccups along the way. Look, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a successful affiliate business. Keep tweaking your action based on the feedback and results you're getting, and your consistency will pay off in the long run. So there you have it, my friend, your roadmap to Pinterest affiliate marketing success served with a side of friendly advice. I hope you enjoy. Remember, it's all about creativity and a community, so have fun while you're at it. And with that, we're done for today's video. Don't forget to like the video if you got value. Also, subscribe with that bell icon. I have way more videos coming just like this. And last but not least, if you want to go further with affiliate marketing, be sure you click this video here, which will take you to a playlist with much more step-by-step -step videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video.